Trains will be built locally and the number of full-time teachers will be boosted if Labor wins the New South Wales election. Live to you, Gabriella Power, at the State Labor Conference in Sydney, where it's certainly been a big day there, Gab. What do the New South Wales Labor leader have to say? It certainly has been a big day here, Janie. The State Labor Conference is just an hour or so away from concluding. Uh, around 800 delegates have attended over the past two days. The Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, spoke here yesterday, but today it was about the New South Wales Labor leader, Chris Minns. He took up the stage alongside his wife, Anna, and spoke around 11.30 this morning, unveiling two key election promises. The first was to manufacture new trains right here in New South Wales, including replacing the Tangara fleet. Now, this promise comes at a time where there is an ongoing dispute between the government and the rail network, which has seen a lot of pain for commuters here in Sydney. They've had their trains uh, disrupted and delayed time and time again as the union members have walked off the job. But Chris Men says that building trains here in New South Wales will create around a thousand jobs. It's, I believe this state isn't just good at building trains. We'll also be great at building trains and trams and light rail and ferries and electric buses right here in New South Wales. Chris Minns then promised to boost the number of full-time teaching positions. He made reference to his father, John, who was a public school teacher. And he said if he wins uh, the next state election, then 10,000 teachers who are on temporary contracts will be moved into full-time positions. But this morning, the coalition made a similar promise, also vowing to move 10,000 teachers on temporary contracts into full-time positions. It's also uh, an issue that is facing New South Wales, the teacher shortage and some teachers have been walking off the job over pay concerns and unmanageable workloads. This is what Chris Minns had to say about the issue. I can announce today that Labor in government in our first term will convert 10,000 temporary teachers to permanent positions in New South Wales public schools. <laughs> Education in Australia is the reason why it doesn't matter what your parents did for a living or what their parents did for a living. There are no barriers to opportunity in this country. Chris Minns also repeated Labor promises to boost healthcare funding, to increase the number of nurses in New South Wales and to end privatisation. Chris Minns will be going up against Premier Dominic Perrottet during the March election. That's in 160 days' time. If Labor wins, it will be the first time Labor has won in New South Wales since 2011, Jamie. You are the ultimate professional. Thank you very much, Gabriella Power, live in Sydney.